Did you know that there's a big mess in St. Petersburg address system? Let's figure out how and why has this happened. This is Natasha and welcome to my channel Natasha's Russia. A week ago I made a video about our post office and then I showed you our post office boxes with weird numbers. It looked like <laughs> the numbers for flats were given by a random generator and I thought that I knew the answer why but actually the issue was more complicated than I thought. And in order to understand it we must go back to the early beginning when the trees were tall. St. Petersburg is not young, but not an old city, it's just 317 years old. And the key feature of the city was that it was built according to a prearranged plan, not chaotic as most of cities in the world. During the first 100 years, there were no numbers on the buildings, most of them had names of the owners. But the city was growing and then the government decided to renumber them. But there was no clear law about how to number them. So people gave numbers to houses according to their own, only God knows which rules. All of this created a big mess and the time was passing and the mess was increasing as well as people's anger. And at the end of the 19th century, the reorganization of numbering system has happened and we use it till right now. And this is what makes St. Petersburg different from all other cities here. St. Petersburg is the only city where the even side of the street is from the left and the odd side is from the right. The numeration starts from the water, lake, river or canal. Choose the closest one. If it was impossible to count from water, as we see there's no water here, they started to count from the main street. All over the world they count from the city center, but not in St. Petersburg. On embankments the numbering increases down the river. It looks like a clear system. So why is the enumeration of buildings in St. Petersburg so messy? Well, probably because there are too many exceptions. Due to some historical events, some buildings were destroyed, some didn't have numbers, some were connected with others. So without being born here, it's almost impossible to understand, but Google will help you. The only thing you must learn is the Russian alphabet. There are plenty of buildings inside yards, outhouses, wings that don't get a separate number, but something called litera. This is a number of the nearest building with a Russian letter. Just like here, look, this is the main building, Vastania 8. This is a famous school, uh, Herzen, and this is 8 B, small building close to the main one. So here comes the question, why is the numbering of flats in St. Petersburg so weird? It looks like it doesn't make any sense. Most of the people here blame Bolsheviks for remodeling buildings and creating this mess. But actually this story has begun way before them. Yeah, the problem was with remodeling, but it started in the 50th of the 19th century. At that time, the building boom began. St. Petersburg became an economical center, attracting more and more people to live. Land was increasing in price, and people started to remodel apartments and build more dachodne dama, which you might know as revenue houses. Before, the entrance to the building was only from the main street and called Paradne. So here is the real Paradne, the real big entrance to average building in St. Petersburg. This is Kamin, this is actually uh, used to be a heater here because there were no radiators before so they used to heat with wood 
and they used to keep wood where? They used to keep wood uh, on their backyards where the servants had black, dark uh, stairs to reach this yard. This is the yard and there are, you can see the, uh, the entrance to this building from the other side. There were the back stairs that were used by servants. And in order to get more profit, the owners of houses started to remodel apartments in order to get more tenants. First floors that were used for shops and even basements were reorganized for cheap flats. So even back stairs became to be used as the main entrance because tenants started to use it. So we see here is the main entrance. Uh, from the beginning, the flats were numerated from the main entrance. Now some of them have two entrances, like there and here. Some uh, have only one entrance, and this entrance is here inside the yard. So it must, they must get another numbers too. Bolsheviks after the revolution just continued the messed up tradition. They needed to give more places for people to live, so they started not only to remodel flats again, but started to build more floors, so it created even more chaos. So it's clear in this building there were just three floors and the Soviet Union built the fourth one as well as here. It's also clear here and here and here and here. Look at this one. It's clear that uh, our administration also continues the same tradition because this is the new one. So this is the explanation of our numbering system and as we say in St. Petersburg, the main thing of uh, St. Petersburg numbering is its absence. Thank you for watching this video, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and leave your comments. And if you want to support me, you can do it on my Patreon, I will leave a link in the description. Thank you and пока-пока!